Alright, hey guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Shane, and I'm currently a sophomore at Northeastern, and today I'm joined with Margo. Hey guys! She's also a sophomore at Northeastern, and she has her own channel, so um, link's in the description. For today's video, we're going to be reading some assumptions about Northeastern that I found online throughout the internet. So I think this video will be helpful for students who are thinking about coming to Northeastern, and hopefully we answer all the questions that you may have. Yeah, let's get to it. <laughs> All right, so the first one is, I think the stereotype is that Northeastern students are very business oriented and it's a relatively true stereotype. The co-op program makes us more aware of how our classes relate to the real world and give us a taste of what we're in for. But still, it is a mixed bag and some students are more serious than others. I would say, especially the last part of this, that some students are, like, it's a mixed bag is very true. I don't think everyone is business oriented. I think everyone is driven. Not everyone goes on co-op here. Most people want to go on co-op here because that's like the seller yeah, selling the point of Northeastern, you know? So, but I don't necessarily think everyone's super business oriented. I think everyone's just driven in their own way to do what they hope and desire and what they want to do and came to Northeastern for dependent on their major. Um, the co-op program is probably what distinguishes Northeastern from a lot of the schools in the surrounding area and they really make the process really easy and I feel like everyone here mostly is like career oriented like they're looking like long term wise so it's really helpful to be at a school where you know what you're gonna do probably after the four years or you're like working on towards that track. If you're thinking of coming to Northeastern or when you're applying for college in general. If you don't really know what you want to pursue yet, that's totally fine. Um, at Northeastern, you're able to sort of take these general courses for your selected major at the beginning, and then you could sort of um, pick your concentration later on. So to be honest with you, you really don't have to pick your major until your second year at most. So you'll probably have your first year just to work with your advisor, take general classes, and then just sort of find what you want to do yeah. moving forward. Next stereotype is Northeastern kids are often thought of as very hard workers. This is a well-earned stereotype. In the summer, we take classes or work. During the school year, NU kids will hold jobs both in industry and as a part of the NU community, whether it's an internship at a nearby company or starting their own ventures or working on campus as tutors, proctors, library staff, or organizing events. Northeastern students are the hardest working in the city. I would say that's mostly true. I don't know if every Northeastern student like, yeah. works over the summer, for example. <laughs> like, I'm going on a dialogue mm -hmm. over the summer. Um, but I do think Northeastern students, when you come to school, try to make the most of their experience and take advantage of all the opportunities. Like, it's a lot easier to plan out your courses and yeah. plan, like, when you want to do your co-op. If you don't find a co-op, you can still take classes or find another internship around here. Definitely. Um, in terms of the very hard working part, um, I definitely agree. Definitely would agree. I feel, like, I feel like everyone's very independently driven too. I, I feel like a lot of students who message me when they ask about what Northeastern looks for, something I say back is usually that I feel like Northeastern looks for like leadership. Yeah. In some way, leadership in a way that like you can you're driven to do something for yourself in that way, yeah. but like also like do something for your community too, I guess. Northeastern students are generally stereotyped as being pretty bright. We aren't a big party school and Greek life isn't very prevalent on campus. Like Greek life is like a portion of the social life that goes on around campus. Like you gain a lot of things by being in a sorority or a fraternity. But the thing is, you don't have to be in sorority or fraternity to have like a good social life at Northeastern. You're also in Boston, you know? There's so many things you can do, so many things you can do with your friends, and yeah, you don't need to be in a sorority or fraternity to have a but social if, life. But if a sorority or fraternity is something you're interested yeah. in pursuing, um, I definitely recommend doing it because um, at Northeastern, I feel like the the fraternities and the sororities are still very like career oriented. Like long term wise, they'll probably help you in the long run in making other connections, making more friends that you probably would not meet if you didn't join them. So yeah. Next stereotype is 
Northeastern is a very diverse school with international students, jocks, hipsters, artists, etc. We have it all. We aren't very school spirited, unfortunately. Our best sports team is hockey. Most people know Northeastern for our co op or internship program, making us a five year school. We're definitely a party school, work hard but play harder. There's a stereotype that Boston is the worst dressed city, not necessarily solely Northeastern because of girls wearing Uggs and sweatpants all the time. This is very true, but definitely does not define our college series. Okay, there's a lot of parts in that one. Um, I guess we could start off with... School spirit. What do you think about our school spirit? Personally, I think we lack school spirit. I don't feel like Northeastern is like a tight-knit community in the school spirit realm. I think our school spirit really revolves around hockey, which is like, it's cool to see when it happens, I guess if you go to the games, but it's not really that lively. <laughs> yeah, I feel like the issue with our school spirit is we don't have events that are like everyone in the community. Yeah, I feel like they're very just like, yeah, you're so right about that. Yeah, there's only events like our hockey games, Bean Pot, which is coming up in two months. Yeah. Um, basketball games. There's not really a chance where you get to Every like congregate day. as a whole like northeastern community it's more like you congregate as like your small social groups i mean in the past they've had like you know like fall fest like yeah like i feel like for fall fest it was oh. like i was able to like meet a lot of people fall fest when we had fall fest i thought that was the best day i wish there was more events like fall fest around here so that's yeah. why i'm gonna say school spirit isn't as it's lacking our best sports team is hockey um, probably yeah yeah northeastern hockey is top of the yeah, definitely if you come here, um, definitely try to go to a hockey game. Um, they're free for students, Just you just have to get tickets online and then the check-in process is really easy. So again, Northeastern is known for co-op, making it a five-year school. Um, you can still graduate in four though. Yeah. You can take summer classes is really the trade-off, yeah. I guess. You could graduate in five. Most people eventually end up graduating in four. But if you do graduate in five, you have the option of doing three co-ops instead of two. Yeah. We're definitely a party school, work hard, but play harder. Um, I don't know, I guess it's been different with COVID. COVID kind of puts a damper on some things like that. Yeah, I, like. I wouldn't categorize this as a party school. Whereas, I mean, fraternities and sororities have their own things going. But um, I'd say it's more like small gatherings, just small social groups getting yeah. together. Um, next stereotype is, um, I guess, m I guess people might think the student body is mostly kids from the Northeast. I think a lot of people from the Northeast do come here, but there is a pretty good mix of people from around the country. We also seem to have a huge international population that is very actively involved in student life. We kind of have a stereotype of being rowdy during big celebrations such as World Series, Super Bowl, presidential elections. And I'll have to admit, that's pretty accurate. About the population, so at least in the United States, I feel like we have a lot of people from California. We have people from New Jersey, New York, and Massachusetts is like the most common. Mm -hmm. Those are like the big four. Big I four. feel like that, and then a lot of international students. Yes. I feel like those are the five that really make up. And then you get like sporadic from the United States. Yeah, I guess this, I don't know when this was written, but back when we had the World Series and Super Bowl parades in Boston, it was pretty, it was pretty busy town, I'd say. I feel like Boston is a great city to be a college student in because you're able to um, explore what you want to do. And I mean, being at Northeastern, you're going to meet so many people who might influence which direction you go for in the future. Yeah. Um, this person said Northeastern is the school students choose because there are no stereotypes. Everyone fits in. Um, everyone on campus is a little different, which makes Northeastern a unique school. Everyone is embraced and encouraged to do their own thing, which is definitely an accurate stereotype. True, yeah. I would say that's relatively true. I mean, I feel like the school's pretty, everyone's pretty independent, you know? Everyone's working to, towards their own goal. No one has the same path here. Not that everyone has the same path at every other school, but you really create your own yeah, everyone's, path here, you yeah. know? Everyone's doing something totally different, so you're really not with the same roommates, you're not with the same 
people every single year. Yeah, Northeastern gives you a lot of options because you could either like do a combined major, you could pick up minors. You could go abroad, you could do summer classes abroad, you could do one co-op, you could do three co-ops, you could do those co-ops in different parts of the world, in parts of different parts of the country. Like you're really, you can do them in different parts of the, like the terms, you know, like, so you're really not on the same, never on the same schedule as someone else completely. And the other thing is like, I feel like the thing is everyone at Northeastern is really friendly. To, like the first day I got to Northeastern, I was just trying to like talk to as many people as possible. If you saw my last video, what I did with some of my friends was we built the the human human box yeah. <laughs> and we just went around door to door just meeting people. But yeah, everyone at Northeastern's mostly everyone at Northeastern is really <laughs> friendly. And yeah, don't be don't be afraid to yeah. just go up and just talk to them or know find something common even like if you're a freshman on your first day if you're like lost and you needed to like ask for directions like anyone would be willing to help you oh yeah you know? I, I did that the first day <laughs> yeah exactly i'm pretty sure i did too so like everyone here is willing to help you if you just ask for help so and then the next one is northeastern really is a melting pot of culture and students from all around the world are attracted to our co-op program there's a little something for everyone no matter what niche you associate with I 100% agree with this. Northeastern is a melting pot of culture. And like we said previously, you can meet people from anywhere in the world. And it's the coolest thing ever because you just learn so much about their experiences and you can share your own. And everyone really appreciates that too. And it's just cool to kind of learn somebody else's perspective and opinion. Um, I do think that there's a you're going to make a lot of friend groups and they're going to be like small separate friend groups that Maybe it's a friend group from class, maybe it's a friend group from a club, and yeah, it's a, just a great great community where you're gonna meet a lot of people. The good thing about Northeastern is the living learning communities. Most of the time you're gonna end up meeting people around your floor, and then those people are probably gonna become some of your best friends during your first year. So definitely take advantage of the LLCs at Northeastern. I personally was in the Fusion LLC, um, I don't think that's a thing anymore. I think they discontinued that, but um, definitely pick an LLC that you find interesting. Ultimately, it probably won't matter which LLC you choose because for my year since COVID, there wasn't any events that we did. We just kind of <laughs> just met each other in the hallways, so. And be like kind of like willing to just like, even if you are an introvert, like push yourself, I yeah. would say. But for me, like, I was the opposite. Like, I was an extrovert when I came into Northeastern. Mm -hmm. I was a huge extrovert. And so, like, my first semester, I was in the NUN program. Yeah. Um, and so I was, like, super an extrovert. And I think a lot of people around me were introverted. So mm -hmm. I was very socially exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, yeah, those were some assumptions and stereotypes that we found throughout the internet. Um, thank you, Margo, for being on the channel. Yes, thank you for having me. And of course, check out her channel. Uh, links in the description. And yeah, that concludes this video. If you guys have any other questions, <laughs> feel free to DM me. My Instagram's in the description. If you enjoyed the video, uh, make sure to like, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm a huge fan. Smash <laughs> up that like button. Smash up that like button. I wonder if any of our answers were good. Imagine. <laughs> what, what can you take out of this video?